Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining in. I know, same shirt. I'm recording a whole bunch of videos before I go on a vacation to visit my family. Today's video is a end of life review on the Giro Manifest MIPS helmet. I've had this helmet for three and change years, three and a half roughly. I got it end of August, three years ago. And I like to replace my helmets every three years. I know, I know, I know, I'm wasting my money, blah, blah, blah. Manufacturers say five. Um, I ride enough and I sweat enough in these things that it's not worth the risk. It's not worth the degradation problems that you get when you sweat a lot. Um, and I'll run through some of that. The other reason why this one is dying uh, and it is going to go straight into the trash is that I crashed in it. One crash and you're done. <coughs> Today is the, sorry, I'm getting over a bit of a cold right now. Um, Today's the 3rd of December, 2023. October the 6th, I crashed my mountain bike. High speed, 20 to 25 miles an hour. Uh, I had, and I was mid-turn and I had a blowout in the front tire and I was just along for a ride at that point. Um, and so I landed, uh, I can't even remember what side of the helmet I hit on. Um, it was such a light hit, but I was, I was quite, um, uh, yeah, probably there, probably this side. You can't really see it, um, but it's been, let me think. This elbow was shredded. Uh, I hit my head and um, it was enough where I got woozy when I sat up and I had to lay back down for about 15 minutes. So um, even though the helmet looks ostensibly on the surface fine, there's no cracks, there's no damage to speak of, um, it's going in the trash. And it just so happened that I was um, about to replace it, so that works well. Um, I love the white, the light colors at low speeds in the mountains, um, in the beating sun of Southern California really is key to rejecting heat. Just like on my Aries helmet, and even more so on this one, um, I, had problems with the styrofoam getting eaten away by my sweat. You can see it inside. Let's see. I don't know. I don't have a monitor to review this, but inside here, my sweat ate away at the styrofoam. The other thing that um, uh, happened was I went through quite a few of the internal pads. Um, these things, you know, Jiro makes them kind of difficult to get but yeah, one quick request from support and they'll send them out. Um, the pad here, let me see if my new helmet has that on it. It does. So this helmet will be coming in a future um, review. Uh, I actually haven't, okay, very similar. This rock lock pad here, the adhesive gave way on it after about 18 months. Big disappointment. We'll see how that goes with the new helmet to see if it lasts any longer. Um, and honestly, the one, oh, there we go. Going back to my crash right there on the back, there's some uh, road rash. So um, the one part of this helmet that was baffling to me when I first was doing my, if you saw my original review of this helmet from a few years back, I was confused by this latch and I was super excited when I saw it, it was that it was magnetic because I'm used to the like road ones that have the, the two buttons that clip. Um, I had never seen one of these, these magnetic ones. And when I realized what it was, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Now I got super excited. And this has been the number one quality of life improvement over a road helmet with full finger gloves um, that I can't, I can't recommend enough. Um, that is such a great design. Um, I was very skeptical of it at the start, but after my first few rides, I was like, yeah, hundred percent. That is, that's key to this helmet. Um, so this has been a great helmet. Um, I replaced it with the newer version of it, uh, with the spherical. This is just the plain MIPS. I went with the spherical manifest for my next one. Um, I loved, loved it that much. And so um, if you have the cash, 
definitely recommend checking out the manifest from Jiro. Until next time, have fun, be safe, get out and ride.